So, you know, I always try to avoid saying how you're doing at these things because even though we always say that we're doing okay, you know, we're not doing so well. We just say fine or good just to mask the pain. But then I thought, Danny wouldn't want us to feel this way. He'd want us to feel good. This is why we're celebrating. He wants us to be fine and good and to laugh and not to cry. You know, after he had his arm amputated and he had the smiley face, and I mean, my God, who the hell do you know who could do that? I've never, I wouldn't do that. I mean, so many people would just, would, would just be, life sucks, this is so unfair, I'm 20 something years old and I can't, I mean, unbelievable. I could see Danny lost weight, and, but I could also just see the effort he was putting into not wanting to burden anybody. He wanted everybody there to feel good and he just hated the thought that they wouldn't. For someone to have so much willpower, even when he's feeling so much pain internally, it's just amazing. It amazes me, and every single time I think about it, it just amazes me every day. I've always strived to be more like Danny. <laughs> he inspired me as a friend, more so as a brother. His character, his pride, his outlook on life, his support, and most importantly, his confidence pushed me to be more like him. From day one, he was never unsure of what he wanted. To have grown up with someone like Danny was truly, truly a privilege. I really don't know what kind of person I'd be without his influence on me. I was living abroad and I wasn't really sure what I was doing with my life. Um, and I saw him posting things on Facebook about shooting music videos and, and the film industry and what he was doing. and it. It struck a chord with me really deeply and it looked like really, really cool and really fun, which of course is just an encapsulation of who he was. And I reached out to him and within 10 minutes he told me to come and experience it and to be a part of what is going on and that he would vouch for me and that he would be there for me and he wanted to welcome me into this world that he was in. So he, he drastically changed the course of my entire life. And that's just kind of the person that he was. He was just such an empathetic, loving person that was the first one to jump to your aid, the first one to tell you that you're here, you're welcome, and that you're comfortable, and that he wants you to be there. He was always the one that I looked to for advice. I don't know who to turn to for these questions anymore. Then the other thing about Dan was he, he never gave up. UCLA Film School is widely regarded as one of the most prestigious and hard to get into in the entire country. I think, I don't know, maybe one in 50 people get in there. And Danny, I think, it took him four tries to get in, and he did it. I mean, how many people would keep knocking at that door? And then he, and he did it. I mean, just, wow, this kid, at <laughs> 20 something years old, just had character and diligence and, and skill that is rare. I was there the day that he got diagnosed. Um, we were living together and I came home from work to find him sitting on our couch crying in the complete dark and just feeling really alone and down. And I, I, mean, I gave him a hug and told him that we could all get through it. And from that moment up until he passed, he was able to complete so much. He, he learned a new language, he found the love of his life, he got married, he graduated from one of the most difficult programs and from one of the nicest schools. He was able to accomplish so very much in such a short amount of time. It's just incredibly inspirational. We went out to the courtyard, he, he had his pole with his you know, fluids on it, his IV, and he's rolling that down the hallway and saying hi to all the doctors and all the nurses and everybody's treating him like a rock star. And I kept asking him, well, is that your doctor? No, no, I, I, he's not my doctor. But everybody knew Danny. He had connected with pretty much everybody in that hospital. 
And I had the distinct honor and privilege of serving Danny and his family in his last few days of life. And some of our lives are like that, right? They're like shooting stars. They're there for a moment, and then they're gone. But the beauty of that experience lingers. And, and I think that's the way Danny's life is. The beauty of that shooting star lingers. I really believe that everyone here is just so lucky to have had Danny's presence in their lives, regardless of how long that might have been. As loving, supportive, and motivating Danny was, we may truly never know the extent of lives that he's touched. All I really know is, and I'm certain about, those damn hugs of his were just so damn scrumptious. I loved them. He just held on to you for dear life. I loved it. I feel your love. Danny's love was photography and uh, filming things. And I think, you know, as beautiful as this is, I think Danny's someplace hundred times more beautiful than this with his camera. He's up there filming some beautiful stuff in heaven right now. God bless you, Danny. I feel your love.